morning, welcome back. Um, yeah, so we've had a wedding in Nalspreit, um, 60 kilometers from Pretoria School. On number 99, we decide to just pop in at the Kruger for two nights. Um, I'm using the Numbi gate. Um, I know there's a lot of people that say that it's avoid the gate, avoid the gate. Well, it's your own personal choice. However, what I can say is a lot of these speed humps on the last road, I am 10 k's, well, 5 k's from the gate. Um, a lot of this speed humps in this last bit of road has been taken off. Here is security people. There is also one that just passed now, yeah? There is security people driving up and down this road. Um, it was a very calm road, actually. Um, like I said, I think I've had two speed humps in this whole road. And I'm like five or three kilometers from the gate. Um, yeah, so they're driving at 30 k's an hour. He just pointed me that it, I can go. Thank you. You see, there it goes. Security guy there. There's the gate. Okay, patrolling and which seems to be a lot better and a lot safer. I've had absolutely zero issues coming in here. So our spontaneous trip to the Kruger has started. Off we go for two nights. Can't wait for this journey. Because of uh, our number 99 decision to get to Pretoria Skop, obviously we just had enough clothing for our three nights which we were now spread for the wedding. Um, yeah, so we had to make a plan, buy some uh, detergent and we have to wash clothes. Apparently 5 rand coins, 25 rand for wash, 25 rand for tumble dry. At least there is a washing machine and we The next part I thought was quite funny. Help me. However, you have to have the ability to run Why? away. Help me! You're struggling? Yes! Let me help you. No, what is it there? Let me help you. I helped her. <laughs> <laughs> now enough about the washing problems. Let's go and explore the camp. After we washed our clothing and took a walk around camp, the night got to us. We only had one full day left in the park before heading back home again, unfortunately. But what wonderful day this was, and we had lots to see.
We headed to Lower Sabi to have a bite at Mug and Bean. We were hungry and the food was delicious. On the deck at Lower Sabi, the river was beautiful and we had some hippos at the water. With stomachs full of good food, it's time to explore the shop, see if there's anything new, buy a cold drink and head back on the road.
After two or three years, I've eventually found the bird I was hoping to find for a long time, the Quran. And the best of all is, it was calling out. What a wonderful sight this was. This was our last great sighting on this visit. This was like a kilometer south of Afsal, where the hyenas normally den. This was the babies crying out for their parents. Have a listen. Well, this was it for now. If you do like my videos, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and also leave a comment if you would like to know something. Anyway, what we'll do at the end of this year, we are going to Botswana, Namibia, the Caprivi Strip, and also heading off to Vic Falls. So there's another reason for you to subscribe on this one. For now, have a good one, and see you on the next video. Cheers.